So what I would argue instead mm. is the CBI, not a mad radical organization, the, 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 the CBI, yes, this week said what we should do is treat the climate crisis and the COVID crisis and the economic crisis as we did the Second World War. And what do, how did we do it fairly in the Second World War? We didn't say we were going to put a tax on meat and the rich can afford loads of meat and the poor get none. What we did was rationing. We have to accept meat has got really high carbon emissions, really high carbon emissions. So the, way, the fair way of bringing it down, bringing down consumption is to everybody say, this is how much meat you're allowed each year and there's your ration. If you want to sell it, sell it. I'm, I'm sorry, you want to bring back rationing? Yes, because we're actually, well, what's the other fair way of doing it? The government is saying they're going to put a 40% tax on meat, which means only the rich could eat it. We have to accept we have to do something about meat. What else can we do? Well, you incentivize Look, people to eat other things rather than taxing the things that you don't want people to go for. Things like meat, things like petrol engines, things like cars, things of those nature. Why don't you make the alternative cheaper? Why don't you incentivize public transport, for instance, by making that cheaper? Why make people's lives more difficult by making the day-to-day -day essentials more money? Why not incentivize people by dropping the prices? Because taxing people, hardworking people who are just trying to get either from A to B, which don't want to have their roads closed, or they want to eat their food without having it taxed beyond belief, 